Hello. So this time we're going to do Sosuke Eisen, a nine star multi solo. So first up in my team is Ken Pachi. Second is Forsetti. Third is Izumo. Fourth is Renji. And last but not least is Vampire Lord Evil Eye. All right. Okay, so first up we got Sosuke Aizen, who is in the magic row, is grounded, and is Aesir. Um, his action skill does Dark Ring for two turns to himself, as well as magic attack 30% up for two turns. He, his attack also do, hits all enemies with dark magic attack, as well as brand for three turns that affects humans, Yotun, and beast. His auto skill hits all player parties with dark magic attack and shadow bound for three turns. That also hits humans, Yotun, and beast. He also has a on um, eight and nine star the high chaos field. So you're gonna want to use your Dark rings, you're to get to kind of counter that. It's just damage over time, so it will kill you if you're not careful. All right, so next up we have the magic crystals that are earth are in the range row. Of course, they're airborne, and all crystals are considered to be beast. All right, what these do is their auto skill hits two enemies with the highest attack with earth magic attack and exhaust for two turns. So there's nothing you can do about the exhaust. It just hits whoever has the two highest magic attack. As well as all enemies with earth magic attack and it gives all of its allies attack and magic attack barrier. So definitely going to want to get rid of those pretty quickly and use things equipment and skills that kind of bypass barriers are pretty effective and try to hit them with fire all right and next up we have the magic crystals dark they're also in the ranged row so what these do, their auto skill hits the two front enemies with dark magic attack and slow for two turns. Again, the slow isn't something that you can really do anything about. It's going to hit the front two of your party regardless, so keep that in mind. With me, it's going to hit, you know, Forsetti and Kenpachi. Um, the Dark Crystals also apply to all of its allies frenzy for one turn quick for one turn and a 20 percent attack magic attack shield so like i said with the other crystals you're going to want to use gear and skills that say ignore shields so people that have ignore shield and ignore barrier are really effective and it doesn't hurt to have like Ground Killer, which will work really good on Aizen, as well as Airborne Killer for the Crystals, and then Aesir Killer, which also works on Aizen, and Beast Killer for the Crystals. So you want to get have a passive or a gear with at least one of those uh, that applies to every single person in your party to make it so you do a lot more damage. Um, I, I kind of like Izumo in this fight because her divine aid gives um, status buffs be, to all depending on how many Aesir are in the fight altogether. So for me it's going I have Kenpachi, Forsetti, um, Izumo herself and Renji as well as Aizen also counts. So the only one that's not is my Vampire Lord Evil Eye. And she's basically there to knock down the 
earth crystals and just keep putting frenzy on everybody. That's why I have her running the cursed weapon. The cursed artifact. Um, Kenpachi doesn't have an element, but it, it he still hits pretty hard in this, so he's really good at crystal crushing. And you're going to want a mixture of light and fire damage to bust down these crystals, because Aizen himself is weaker to light than fire, so that's why I'm using a lot more light gear than fire gear. Alright. That's it. Now let's check out and see how much damage we did. Alright, thank you for watching.